Hi Libra, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. I am Simone the Moon Goddess. This is your reading for the second half of July 2020. This will be for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising Signs. You can check your Venus and Jupiter if you feel inclined. Um, and remember, these are general messages. It either resonates or it doesn't. All right. Um, if you are interested in me reading for you, if you want a personal reading from me, my details are down below my socials my contact details are all down below all right um let's get into your reading all right so spirit guys what messages you want me to share with libra may all messages be for the highest good of all involved with harm to none amen Ashi, so it is so libra your first card is the seven of cups reversed all right so there's about to be some truth or clarity coming forth Mercury just went direct. Remember, we still have shadow phase. I believe you're still in the shadow phase of Venus retrograde. Um, and there's other retrograde still happening. And we've, we've just come out of three back-to-back -back eclipses. All right. So because of that, you're going to start to see a lot of truth floating to the surface. Illusions falling away. You're starting to see clearly on a matter. All right. What's influencing that, my loves, is the Six of Swords. So whatever is coming to the forefront in your mind, in your life, whether it's love or otherwise, it is because it's time for you to move forward. It's time for you to leave something in the past. All right. And this truth that's coming, whether you are able to receive it easily or not, process it easily, easily or not, the point is it's there to push you forward to your highest. Okay. It's time to push you towards greener, brighter pastures. Okay, the foundation of this reading is the Six of Pentacles. Maybe some of you are worried about your money. No, that's two sixes, one after the other. The Seven of Cups reverses also the energy of the Six of Cups. So this is actually kind of like a 666 energy already coming through for your reading, Libra. The foundation of your reading here, like I said, is the Six of Pentacles, which speaks about balance. All right, so there might be a need for you to either give of your time, your money, your energy, or you are receiving. So however that skill has been for you, if you if you felt as if you've been giving way too much, this is now the time where things are going to be balanced and you're going to be receiving just as much as you've been giving. If it's the flip side of it where you've been receiving or taking, it's now time for you to share, to give, to be generous, okay? However this resonates, balance is coming in to place so if you've found that your money has been been a little bit low recently or you're stressed about money there's a light at the end of the tunnel right the six of pentacles shows that there is balance coming in here with this particular card when i see it it makes me think about ask and ye shall receive so wherever you might be feeling a sense of lack all right it's time for you to ask it's time for you to pray it's time for you to speak to your spirit guys your ancestors your benevolent ascended ancestors always only those who have com compassion for you and want your highest good be very specific always with intention right whatever whoever you connect to god the universe however it resonates for you it's time for you to speak and ask for what you want look at this child speaking to this god okay so that's what's happening here um, in your conscious mind. That's what's brought you here. You you're want you want balance, which makes sense as you're the sign of the scales. I mean, everybody wants balance, but it really is beautiful because it's you guys I'm talking to. In your subconscious mind is the Eight of Cups. So there is a need, and you know it on a subconscious level, there is a need for you to walk away from something here, Libra. It's coming through strong here. It's coming through strong here. It's time for you to leave something in the past. All right, there's something that you're contemplating, something that you've been thinking about for a long time or something that weighs heavily on you and you know the only way to get through it is to, is to bypass it, is to leave it in the past. Your past energy is the Knight of Cups. So is this connected to a romance, um, Libra? Is this connected to a romance? This person might be a, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Perhaps it's Mercury retrograde in Cancer that's kind of had you thinking about this. Okay, the, if this is connected to a person, it could be that this is a romance where one minute this person is here, then they disappear. They're back and forth. You know, they're full of sweet talk. They're full of all the poetry and all that. And then they disappear and then they're back again. So this could be the energy that you need to walk away from. 
Let me get one more card for this night. Queen of Swords. I mean, sorry, Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. So this is two people. So were you all in some kind of third party situation, um, Libra? Or it could be that you feel controlled by this person. You Maybe you feel as if they put a spell on you. They speak these sweet words and all of a sudden you lose your mind. It's like you think to yourself, hang on, I ain't putting up with this shit. Da -da 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 -da. And then they sweep in and you're like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Is that what it is? That you feel as if they have some kind of control over you. Let me get one more card, please. Let me get one more card for this. Past energies, two of cups. Two of Cups. So this is some kind of romantic situation that was happening in your past. And, 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 and you feel pulled back and forth with it. Let me see the energies coming in for you, the Two of Swords. It's time to make a decision, Libra. <laughs> two of Cups and then the Two of Swords. It's time for you to make a decision. And you know what decision you need to make. It's, it's very clear here. Or you're about to. In the next couple of weeks, you're about to know very clearly. Something's going to happen that's going to make things very clear. The illusion, the facade, the fuzziness is going to fall away. For some of you, I feel as if you have been maybe overindulging with drinking or drugs, disassociating in some way, maybe just sleeping a lot, a lot sorry, or um, just drowning in your vices, so to speak. And maybe you've kind of cleaned up your act in some way over the last two weeks. And now things are coming clear. Now you know, now you can see clearly. And there's a decision here that you're about to make. There's a decision. You're going to be put in a position where you are going to have to make a decision. Your word of advice, Libra, is the king of swords. It's time to get your mind right. It's time to put your foot down. There's news coming in that's going to allow you to be able to do this as well. It's like you're taking dominion over your mind. I feel as if this person truly had you in some kind of spell. Literally, figuratively speaking, it could go either way. Or you felt that way. Ten of Pentacles, word of advice. So... It could be that there's new energy coming in, right? Maybe you're choosing between two people. Maybe that's what it is as well. Maybe you're choosing between two people. One of these people, the Queen of Wands, makes you feel very passionate, stirs you up passionately. They're full of adventure fun. Um, there's a lot of spark. There's a lot of sexual energy between you and this person. And maybe the other person is more um, creative, poetic, you know, the flow there's more water one is water one is fire maybe you're making a decision between two people here whatever your word of advice is though whatever it is your word of advice is that you're going to be you need to get your mind right you need to take don't let your mind control you you control your thoughts all right and also it's about putting things in place being more responsible being more practical Putting, putting, taking authority over self and your money, your home, your balance, what makes you feel stable and secure, your foundations, right? There's also a sense that for some of you, this could be a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini um, that you're connected to that's going to bring you more balance, more, sol more so solid energy. A more father type energy, a more, um, ooh, okay, that's just a bug. <laughs> um, a more, a more serious, not serious, not serious. Just more focus. It's a more focus directed energy. Yeah, bringing balance into your life. Okay, so your word, your external influence is the Ace of Cups. So this is an injection of new energy coming in for you. Healing. Somebody that might uh, assist you in purging. Maybe this a uh, connection that you have with a person 
allows you to purge, allows you to cleanse. And this could be the energy that you need to like walk away from as well. It's because of the purging that's allowing you to walk away, right? It could also be that somebody's pouring into you. Right? It could also be that somebody's pouring into you. Maybe some of you are looking to detox or thinking about detoxing. Some of you have been detoxing. Some of you have been detoxing and that's why your mind is now clear. Okay, that's it. Because I said earlier that I feel like some of you might have been overindulging in some way and maybe you've just recently cleaned it up. I know your mind is clear, so maybe some of you are literally pouring your drinks out, pouring it down the sink, or maybe have just you've just been bringing it out of your body, you know, like detoxing, getting it out of your system. Six of Wands here. So maybe this is somebody who's supporting you. It could be a water sign, um, Cancer, Scorpio. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, a person in your life who might be assisting you and helping you, uplifting you, you know, being like a hype man or hype woman. Like, yeah, Libra, you do you know how amazing you are? And when I looked down, it was just 1144 on my counter. Do you know how amazing you are? Da, 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 da. Like pouring into you. Could be spiritual energies as well, spiritual upliftment. Your potential obstacles or blockages the ace of swords all right could be hopes and fears as well so libra you are worried about actually telling somebody that you're not about this life anymore it's like you want to clear the air you want to cut out what no longer serves you you want to have clarity within your life but you're also worried about having the conversation. You're stressed about having that, that conversation. You're stressed about that dialogue happening. All right. Um, you can't. What's the alternative? What's the alternative of you not saying what's actually on your chest and on your mind? Right. Sitting back and allowing this energy to continue so that you can maintain the peace so you don't have to deal with the awkwardness or the fallout or the conflict or the uh, the the uncomfortable energy that might come about from having this conversation what's the alternative right clarity or just going along with what doesn't serve you and feeling uncomfortable Either way, you'll feel uncomfortable, but one of them is leading you to your path. One of them is leading to growth. And one of them is keeping you in the past and keeping you stagnant and blocked. Say it with your chest. This is why it's interesting that your word of advice is the king of swords. And your hopes and fears or potential obstacles or blockages is the ace of swords. Because you need to get your mind right you need to get your thoughts right you need to get your words right maybe it's about writing what you want to say and giving it to a person you know rather than speaking it or maybe it's just putting it on paper and then speaking it but however whatever your strategy is on this your powers come from clarity of mind so meditation taking time for yourself praying, expressing yourself through writing or, or otherwise, but you need to say what needs to be said. Okay, your, your, your final outcome is the Page of Cups. So Libra, in you speaking up and speaking your truth, it brings new love. It brings new opportunities. It brings new money. It brings new... Uh, it brings messages of happiness and peace and flowing energies. Okay, there's a page coming in 
Again, could be Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Maybe this is the same person who's been pouring in and, and cheering you on and hyping you up. Maybe that's the Knight of Cups. Maybe they're not wishy-washy. Maybe they could be a little bit wishy-washy, but they're always there to hype you up. And maybe the Queen of Wands is a sense of somebody trying to control you. Maybe you're trying to choose between these two energies. But a Page of Cups is here. Five of Wands. So there might be some kind of competition. Maybe they're, they're bringing you beautiful messages of love or opportunities, money, things that will make you feel happy, but you feel conflicted in some way. Maybe it's the way how they do it. Maybe it's the way how they say. Hold on, let me get one more card. The Seven of Wands. There's some kind of uneasiness here. I don't know why that is. This page of cups coming in makes you feel uneasy. King of Pentacles. So maybe it's just the way, the, it's the message, not the messenger. Maybe it's the message and not the messenger because it's leading you to a king of pentacles energy, which is master manifester, money. This is love. This is something stable. If you're thinking about love, this is a commitment. If it's about money, it's drawing in, attracting money. It's a, con it's a flow of money coming into your life. It's a sense of stability and security. So perhaps it's the message and not the messenger that makes you feel uncomfortable. All right. I just noticed there's a page of coins here at the bottom of the deck or a page of pentacles. So this is a message about money, stability, love, maybe an offering of romantic love as in um, stable love. I don't know, an engagement. Let's move in together. Let's take it to another level. For some of you, it's whatever this person is saying to you, it's putting you in a position to get your business life right. Right? So they just rub you the wrong way because you know that what they're saying is true. Maybe that's what that is. Drop a comment, my loves. Drop a comment. Drop a comment. Let me know how this resonates. Um, very interesting reading. Can I have some oracles? One oracle for Libra. Love. Okay, so it says let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. All right, so maybe this person, this page of cups is coming in saying, you know, I love you, Libra. I want to be with you, but... You know, there's still stuff to be done. There's still things happening in the background. Just bear with me. Be patient. Da, da, da. And you want things to happen yesterday. Maybe there's some kind of situation like that. Again, it's not the messenger. It's the message that might have you feeling like if they're rubbing you the wrong way. But they're whatever they're telling you is leading you to your mastering of your domain. This king of pentacles. Truly. All right, bottom of the deck, it says forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. All right, let's see what's at the top. Chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. And down the middle, it says trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Um, let me get some moon cards out for you. So many all right it's fine um nothing will come of this situation void of course moon first card out so this is reminding you that the doom and gloom that you might be foreseeing for yourself is not going to happen unless you put a lot of time and effort and energy into making it happen all right so it's like thinking positively thinking expecting the best opening yourself to receiving the best and knowing that is possible for you. 
Okay, your next card is hold your vision, fixed moon. Okay, it just came out for cancer as well. All right, you have communication is key, new moon in Gemini. Wow, Libra, Libra, Libra. <laughs> new moon in Gemini, communication is key. Ace of Swords. This is what you're dreading, that conversation. You're dreading a conversation. It has to be had. Clear the air. A personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon and cancer. You have expect powerful change. New moon eclipse. And it's time to take action. New moon in Aries. Okay then. There we go. All right, cancer. Sorry. Libra. Libra, that is your message for the second half of July 2020. Drop a comment, give me a thumbs up, um, share the video, subscribe if you haven't. Um, so much love to you, I appreciate you. Thank you for watching my video and until your next message, my loves, bye.